Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to part two of my overview as I'm building this uh, printer, uh, which is Simple Core Redux. So I am building this printer on live stream. Um, basically when we make some significant progress, I want to try to do a YouTube video recapping kind of what we've done. So if you've watched part one, you can see here we've made some progress. I have basically assembled the entire XY gantry. Um, you can see now how simple this printer is. Uh, you can also see the corner joints here in a bit better detail. Again, I'm using corner joints. Um, I would recommend you just use blind joints if you can. Uh, it's easy to do and um, highly recommended. But if anyone is interested in like simple core frame kits, um, I'm sure I could get FunSor uh, to make some frame kits. Uh, LDO might be interested in making some frame kits if you wanted to buy some kits off AliExpress or something like that. Um, but anyways, what we've done here is uh, I have assembled the gantry on live stream. Now, I am using a boron carbon fiber uh, tube here for the X. This is not standard. This is something that I wanted to do for my simple core build. Um, I just wanted to have a very, very lightweight X gantry. So um, the Voron carbon tube is pretty easily to mod into this printer. So I decided to do that. I am also uh, 3D printing a Bowden adapter here for my AT4 tool head. So this printer is gonna be Bowden. It is not gonna be direct drive again. I'm just trying to remove all the weight from the axes. See how it prints. I think most people will probably just use a 2020 extrusion for X like normal, and then they'll mount their uh, extruder of choice. Uh, as I said, I am using the AT4 tool head, which is this tool head right here. Um, again, I modded a plate to be able to use the AT4 tool head. This is essentially a dragon burner plate that was made for the EVA three ecosystem so that you can mount a dragon burner. Dragon burner is pretty similar to the AT4. So I was able to modify it and use this AT4 tool head. This has probably the best uh, part cooling with 4010 fans. And I will put this on printables as a remix. Of course, I did not design this tool head. Um, I'm just remixing these parts but I will put this on printables on a separate page. Um, so if you want the CAD for this tool head and modify it, you can. I also am, I did have to modify the AT4 cowl. Um, I basically flattened the top of it. I am only modifying the bamboo cowl. So if you guys want to use different hot ends for your printer and you want to use the AT4 tool head, you are going to have to modify your own cowl if you're not using the bamboo hot end. The AT4 supports many different hot ends, but they each have their own cowl. Um, so you will have to cut off the top of that to make it work for you. I'm hoping other people will mod this as the printer kind of gets out there and uh, kind of gains traction and whatnot. So again, some people may be just using the stock EVA tool head, which is completely fine. It uses many different extruders and hot ends by default. Um, I just wanted to do something different for this build and I really look how the AT4, I really like how the AT4 tool head looks. I've also uh, modified it so you can see the simple core logo there and hopefully I'll be adding LEDs to it as well. We'll see how lazy I get or how, <laughs> how quick I want to get this thing printing. Before we go any further, I'd really like to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Until September 30th, PCB Way is offering purple solder mask at no extra cost. Purple is one of my favorite colors, other than green, of course, so definitely check that out and order some PCBs before the end of the month. PCB Way doesn't just do PCBs, they do CNC machining, 3D printing, they do flexible and rigid PCBs. Let's go ahead and try out some 3D printing here. Let's take one of the files from Delta Flyer. This is the bamboo hot end mount for Delta Flyer. Let's add a quantity of one. We're gonna choose ABS. And of course, let's set this to green and choose 40% infill. You can see here we have our price on the right hand side and we can go ahead and order that 3D printed part. 
If you need PCBs, CNC machining, or 3D printing, definitely check out PCB Way in the link in the description below. We can see um, the nice beefy motor pods here on the front of the printer. So what makes this printer unique is that the motors are on the front side of the printer. This basically allows us to not have belts in our line of sight, but we also don't need a ton of bearings because we're moving the motors to the front. Normally on a lot of Core XY printers, they'll actually put the motors at the back of the printer. The problem with that is you now have to redirect your belts in a way so that you don't have these, these belts in the back running over the front of the printer and obstructing your view. So you have to run more bearings in the rear. Again, Simple Core is all about reducing um, parts and making the printer easy to assemble. So this is the simplest solution for that by putting the motors at the front. I actually quite like the look and they don't really intrude at all in the view and I think it's an elegant way to do this. You'll also notice here we're using standard um, F695 bearings on the idlers for the most part, on the rear and the front idlers. And on the back, we are just using some Gates 20 tooth idlers. Uh, these are 10 millimeters in height. You really need to make sure that you get the correct height idlers. And then I am using aluminum standoffs. These are 10 millimeters and then there's nine millimeters in the back. You can find those off Amazon. I'm sure they're widely available on AliExpress as well. You can absolutely use printed ones too, completely fine. But again, it's very simple. You can see how many printed parts there are. Um, and it's, it's very small amount of printed parts to actually get the gantry all assembled here. The carriages are basically just two plates very easy to run the belts because they're nice and open and you can route the belts through very, very nicely. Um, in addition, I'm also running a mod for the EVA carriage to run an MGN9 linear rail on the top. So EVA would normally use MGN12 by default. I wanted this to be as light as possible, so I decided to go with MGN9. Again, I'm going Bowden, so there's no weight really on the front of this. MGN9 will work perfectly fine. Chaz is still kind of fine tuning some things and he has published a new um, CAD revision so that the belt path is a little bit cleaner. So I'm gonna be basically uh, printing new carriages and I am gonna be printing new motor pods as well and some new double shear plates. You can see the double shear plate here. Um, he has changed the design so it's much better. And again, this printer is kind of being refined as I build it. That's why I'm waiting till this printer is printing before I make a printables page on it. So if you're looking for the files, head over to my Discord. They're on the Simple Core Redux channel. They're pinned there. And Chaz always has the latest version of the CAD on there. You can download the CAD. You can export the files and print them if you want to make Simple Core. Or you can wait till I'm done building this printer and you can just use the STL files right on the printables page. So I'm hoping to have this printing in a few weeks. Um, just depends on the time I get to kind of build it, stream it, that type of thing. I don't think I need to order too many more parts. Um, I think I just need to order some linear rails for Z. Speaking of the Z, uh, we do have one of the Ian's uh, gear reduction uh, assemblies here. I have this mounted in the incorrect way so that you can actually see how it looks. Uh, this would actually mount here. There's gonna be a gear reduction box here, a gear reduction box here, and then one on the back. But this gives us a better view of it. It's incredibly simple. It's a 80 tooth pulley. This is the Voron style 80 tooth pulley. I've 3D printed this. Again, just to save money, you can buy an 80 tooth pulley if you want to, or you can use a 3D printed version. There's many of these available on printables. And then we have a 20 tooth uh, pulley here for the motor, giving it a four to one gear reduction. And there's just a simple M5 by 60, I think, uh, shaft right there. 
really, really easy, very low parts count, and this gives us a four to one gear reduction on all three corners so that the bed doesn't drop if there's a power loss. Really, really nice. Again, very easy to assemble, not very many printed parts. Um, so that's kind of be my next live stream is gonna be assembling the Z. Uh, it goes together quite easily. The linear rails are actually floating um, in the actual uh, frame and there is some adjustability there. So that's nice as well. You'll see that when I do my uh, part three recap of the printer, or if you tune into the live stream, which will most likely be next Saturday um, and we'll kind of get the Z all buttoned up. I am still waiting on my bed. I have ordered a uh, Funsor K1 bed. However, it's a 110 volt bed. So it's a modified bed that runs 110 volts instead of the normal 24 because I'm just gonna run a small Meanwhile, 200 watt power supply because there'll be no fan in the power supply. I want a really nice quiet printer. Again, you can, there's many ways you can choose to build this. I'm just choosing to build it uh, that way. You could use a 24 fold bed if you want to and then just use a bigger power supply like a 350 or 450 watt power supply. That's completely fine as well. So that's kind of a recap here. It's coming along quite well. You can see all the other parts that I've collected. Uh, I am going to be using the Boombox uh, Bowden Extruder. Very, very fast. Um, no gear reduction on this. And I'm, I'm very excited to see that. You can see how my pulleys printed out here. I've got spare parts. And then I've got LEDs for the tool head. And, you know, fans and, and all that kind of stuff. So there's not a whole lot else here that I need to order. Uh, I also do have Beacon. We are going to be using a Beacon probe for the actual uh, bed probe. I'm very excited to use that. I've never used that before. So um, thanks everyone for watching part two here. I'm getting very excited. It's really gonna be great to have Simple Core again so I can use this for a lot of projects and 3D printing and whatnot. I really wanna dial this printer in and make it as good as I possibly can. Um, so stay tuned. Um, I'll catch you all on the live stream and I'll catch you on Discord. If you're interested in supporting me, check out the links in the description. I've got my Patreon link in there. I also have a West 3D affiliate link um, and I have the link to my Discord. Thanks everybody.